Hey, what up? This is your boy, the Solo Traveler ORD, and thanks again for checking out another one of my videos. Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell while you are here, and I appreciate the support. So I'm back again for another reaction video. This time, I'm actually continuing the video that I was that I made yesterday, which was on Wanda. Now I'm actually working on Madagascar. So this is a part two to that video to what I made, what I started off with um, as far as Africa and African women. So of course I'm doing this video. This is coming from uh, from Trick CD. Um, she actually created this video. And of course, like I said, as, as, I, as I stated in the other video, is that these videos, uh, she's, she's basically giving inf uh, information about the women and um, just everything about that particular country. So because of that, that's how I stumbled upon this video from TikTok. I'm not sure how I found it, how I stumbled upon it, but it just it just so happened that I stumbled on it. And one good thing about this is that this is a, a great video for those men that are looking to find wives outside of the West. Uh, because we already know how things are in the West, especially in the United States. How a lot of women are not traditional, how they subscribe to the feminism that is out here, as well as, you know, a lot of the toxic behavior that, that is going on. So because of that, that's why the Passport Bro or Blue Book Gentlemen or, or things of that nature, those type of groups has spun from all the stuff that's been going on in the United States. So because of that, I'm guessing a lot of these, a lot of these countries are now uh, putting their hat in the ring of telling brothers, people from the West to come visit their country, to come check out the women because of the fact that a lot of these women are single. <clears throat> there is a surplus of single women all over the world. And a lot of women are looking to be taken care of. So without any further ado, let's jump into this. This video is on Madagascar. I'm going to be telling you guys about the women in Madagascar. Madagascar is an island country lying off the southeastern coast of Africa. Madagascar is... Already, with, which is just the first couple of, of pictures of the women, I'm already blown away. I'm like, yo, yeah, for, for all you all you uh, guys that just pro blacks or whatever, this is this is probably a this is gonna be a nice video for you all. It's the fourth largest island in the world, although located some around 250 miles from the African continent, and mostly the Malagasy people, moreover, do not consider themselves to be Africans. But because of the continuing bond with France that resulted from former colonial rule, the island developed political, economic, and cultural links with the French-speaking countries of Western Africa. But not to deviate from the purpose of... See, now that kind of brings a question. Um, what language do they speak? Do they speak English or do they speak only, uh, French? Um, I'm not, I looked this up before. I know that this is a French-speaking country, but the question is, do they also speak English? So that's something that for you guys who are looking to go over here or at least check out this island, yo, do your investigation, go check it out, see exactly what it is, check out the culture, all everything that you can find about this country um, to make sure that your first trip is actually meaningful. This video, I'm just going to be telling you a few things to know about the women who are actually called the Malagasy women. Malagasy women are just as sexy and gorgeous as Latinas. They are calmer and more obedient. Half of the populations are Christians. Oh man, they said that they're just like Latinas. I mean, they look like it from, from what I've seen some of the pictures. It looked like a mixture of Asian and Latin America. But they but she said that they're more submissive than Latinas. Man, that's woo, that's a that's a <laughs> made me want to go out there. Traditional belief remain predominant in many areas. Old traditions such as a mole tree are still popular in Madagascar where an old man can marry a young girl in exchange for a gift or money to her family. Okay, so they have the diary out there as well. So the question is how much is it to um, to basically marry one of these women? So that, <clears throat> I haven't dealt with that. I'm not really into a lot of the African culture as far as, you know, diary and, and how much it costs and so forth to marry women. So if, if you know a lot, if, if whoever whoever's out there listening and, and basically know about this, leave a comment below. Let me know how that whole thing works. This is why many single Madagascar girls are looking for a chance to build a better life elsewhere. As with most other women in patriarchal society, Malagasy women make respectful and obedient wives. They have grown up in families where premium 
is actually placed on male family members. So naturally and quite willingly, sometimes they extend their gestures to their husbands. A Malagasy woman will never talk back at her husband. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh man! <laughs> she said a Madagascar woman would not talk back to her man. <sighs> Let that sink in for a little bit. For those of you that are from the United States that are used to dealing with certain types of women, whew, you guys know that that talk back, that slick talk back, is a regular thing. And to not get that is like, wow. Especially when you're trying to lead the family. I can understand if you if you need that because you've been horrible you're, as a horrible man. But if you're a regular guy, a good guy, and all you've been trying to do is lead the family. And basically you got a woman that doesn't even, that don't talk back to you like that. That's on your program that cooperate. Oh man. Whew. Yo, I would give her my, my credit cards, everything. Bank account, numbers, whatever she needs. <laughs> I'm choking, but... <laughs> ...or challenge him outright. She will let you know whenever she wants to take an important decision and will seek your opinion and consent. Of course, this should not be mistaken as lack of self-esteem or intelligence as most people would take this as. They simply do this as an act of great respect and love for their husbands. They are faithful. Every man loves and values a faithful woman. Wait a minute, so she said that they are very faithful. That is a lost art in the West, a woman being faithful. You know, that's because now we know that women in the West, they have become to be like men in so many words. You know, they have become to be masculine and they want to do everything a men do. You know, and, and this is something great for the, and this is a reference to the good men. I'm not even talking about the pookies and ray rays. I'm not talking about the dudes that just go around on some BS. This is actually really good for those good brothers that are looking for good women. This is what I'm talking about. Because who would want to be with someone who is unfaithful? Stating the obvious isn't it. Yes, but then there's a slight twist this time. Even after a man is no more. A typical Malagasy wife will still uphold her fidelity vow, at least until she remarries. This has it. Wow. Although I wouldn't even ask for this, if I if I'm gone, I'm like, yo, do what you want to do. It is you. It's your life. But these women will still remain faithful until they get married again. That is, yo, that is wild. That's some that's some crazy stuff right there. That's some true faithful stuff. Roots more in their belief in the ties between the living and the dead. This is rather a bizarre example, but it goes to emphasize the level of Malagasy wife's faithfulness. If you live away from your Malagasy wife, you just have to go about your business with a calm and relaxed mind, knowing that you have a Penelope in a Malagasy bride. You have nothing to fear about her fidelity. Man, that would be so hard for me to do. That's the thing, you know. So I've, I've, you know, grew up in this Western culture, and I, I've seen so much. I've even participated in so much wrong. The fact that it's like just the, just to think that, you know, to put all your trust in, knowing that she's not gonna do anything. That is wild. Even in death, <laughs> even in death, you know that she's gonna be faithful. Yo, man, you gotta give it up to to these women. This status, which in some situations, most men always fear that because of the type of women they choose. But women from Madagascar have family values. A lot of men are looking for single Madagascar women. Since these ladies are very family oriented, they are more conservative than ladies from Western countries and are perfectly content with the role of a stay at home wife. In this country, women mostly focus on managing a household. All I gotta say is wow. I mean, they're family oriented. They're they're all about being tradition, about being traditional women. They're all about taking care of the family. I mean, this is basically the, the type of women a lot of men are looking for. This is the traditional wife they're looking for. And of course, and of course, this is for those men that can't afford it. 
This is for those men that actually have money that are looking for traditional wives that are not looking for 50 50. I know that there is a lot, you know, not a lot, but there is a few of those men that are out there looking for 50 50 because of the fact that, you know, what has happened in the Western culture. However, a lot of the group, a lot of the group of men that are traveling looking for wives, these guys are in an upper tier level that they are looking for a traditional wife because they have the means to take care of her and the family, which makes a lot of sense. You know, it's just like myself. So that's why I went for a traditional wife because that's what I wanted. You know, I'm all about tradition, taking care of the family, taking care of all the bills and everything. Everything's on my shoulder. I prefer my wife to stay at home and relax and take care of the house what needs to be done. Although she works from time to time, but most of the time she, you know, I prefer her to be at home, which is cool. And just to see this right here with these type of women that they said they don't do no, they don't have no, no, no talk backs or nothing like that. They respect the man. Like I'm telling you just to get up with a woman like this and this type of culture, like this is like finding gold right now, it, basically in, in the United States, this is like finding gold. Like, or, I'm sorry, no platinum. <laughs> you know, this is a whole new level finding diamonds and platinums and things like that. So, but yo, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about the video because I'm, I'm like blown away by this, um, by this information. And I hope that this is true. I hope this isn't, you know, cap or anything like that. I hope that, you know, everything can be verified and confirmed. For those of you watching this who have actually dealt with Madagascar women, let us know if this is what it is. Well, this is your boy, the Solo Traveler ORD. Thanks again for checking out this video. Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out.